Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. A big purpose of glycolysis and Krebs cycle is to convert NAD plus into NADH and FAD into FADH2. These processes are examples of oxidation reduction reactions. That's because the hydrogen that joins these species brings with it electrons. As seen here, a hydride ion is attacking NAD plus, bringing with it electrons and a hydrogen atom. Let's take a look at glycolysis and see if we can find this process at play. It looks like it's happening right here and it's being catalyzed by a dehydrogenase enzyme. Let's also take a look at the Krebs cycle. We have NAD plus being coming NADH via isocitrate dehydrogenase. We have NAD plus becoming NADH once again via alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. We also have FAD becoming FADH2 via succinate dehydrogenase. Once again, one more time, NAD plus to NADH via malate dehydrogenase. The commonality among all these enzymes is that they are dehydrogenase enzymes. Let's take a second look at the question stem. Which type of enzymes are responsible for the oxidation reduction steps of the breakdown of glucose? It's going to be dehydrogenases. Dehydrogenases are going to help transfer electrons to NAD plus and FAD. A lot of students ask me if they should memorize the metabolic pathways such as glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. And my answer is yes. You want to know all the details, including energy substrates, substrates, enzymes, every single part of it. And the reason is because the AAMC, the creators of the MCAT, they test you on all these details. They'll often ask these types of questions that require you to conjure up in your mind the exact details of these processes. So you definitely want to know them inside and out. And that's why I created my Metabolic Pathways Mastery course. I walk you through a simple step-by-step -step process that you can use to memorize every detail of all the pathways. Many people try and memorize them by simply drawing out the entire thing but I think that's a very inefficient approach because there's so much in there. My approach breaks it into small, simple steps. You're only memorizing four or five things at a time, which makes it much easier. So I'd highly recommend checking out my Metabolic Pathways course. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, Feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10 minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.